am a senior at St. Agnes and I play the bass clarinet in the Wind Ensemble. This year, so many amazing changes have taken place in the band, including the creation of several committees meant to enhance the quality of the band for years to come. This includes the creation of the Video Committee, which has worked hard to create several videos that you will see throughout the course of tonight's concert. These videos will introduce tonight's features. The Straight Jesuit, St. Agnes, Percussion Ensemble, Jazz Ensemble, Symphonic Band, and Wind Ensemble. Tonight's performances are only, th are only possible thanks to a tremendous team effort. We would like to thank our Straight Jesuit and St. Agnes administrators, faculty, staff, parents, private instructors, volunteers, and students. You can find many more acknowledgments on the back of your program. We sincerely thank all of you for everything that you do. Without you, tonight would not have been possible. Tonight's performance is being professionally recorded, and we ask at this time that you please silence all personal electronic devices. Thank you. Our first group to perform tonight is the Straight Jesuit St. Agnes Percussion Ensemble. The first piece that they will be performing is Allegro Barbero by Bela Bartok. And at this time, we ask you to please welcome to the stage Mr. Jesus Pacheco and the Straight Jesuit St. Agnes Percussion Ensemble.
Jazz Ensemble in a nutshell is a smaller group of a smaller group of dedicated students who perform jazz music. Our jazz ensemble features instruments such as uh, trumpet, saxophone, and trombone, and it combines with more contemporary instruments such as uh, such as the drum set, the guitar, the piano, and the bass guitar. Yes, yeah, so, like we had um, so we had the privilege um, of having um, we had the privilege of having a professional trumpet player um, John Fulberth come to clinic our jazz band this semester, and he is an alumni of of Strict Jesuit and a man loyal University of New Orleans. Our jazz band rehearses usually twice a week after school for 45 minutes, um, and this commitment is sometimes hard because a lot of our students, not including me, are involved in sports. But, however, we always manage to make our concerts outstanding. Tonight, we will be performing for you six pieces. We will open with two famous jazz standards, Paul Desmond's Take Five and Herbie Hancock's Cantaloupe Island, my personal favorite piece. Following that, we will perform Now What, a variation of Miles Davis's So What by Mike Camouf. Following that, we will shift backwards to a, more, to a blues piece called Blues in the Night, written by Johnny Mercer and performed famously by Ella Fitzgerald. After that, we will switch back to a contemporary piece called Tastes Like Chicken, written by Chris Berg, and we will end the night with Jump, Jive, and Whale, performed by Louis Prima and later by the Brian Setzer Orchestra. The Jazz Ensemble is dedicated to Brother Walter Eckler, who's always been a huge fan of us here at Strike. Now, please welcome to the stage the Jazz Ensemble and their director, Mr. Ben Ware.
Ensemble. For the next two tunes, Blues in the Night and Tastes Like Chicken, I'd like to welcome to the stage our assistant band director, Mr. Jesus Pacheco.
Department of Education for Con Selmer. I'm probably in your band room or your auditorium right now visiting with you, and you're coming up to one of the most important decisions of your life that will impact your child greatly. Uh, I'm sure you're trying to decide, should Jeff or Sarah be in band or not be in band? And what we look at initially is, oh, the cost of the instrument or the amount of time it's going to take. I'm here to talk about some other parts that you might want to consider. I want to talk about the educational benefits, I want to talk about the emotional benefits, and I want to talk about the economic benefits. There's a ton of empirical research out there that says when children are part of the arts, specifically music, there are advantages in every other part of their total development, particularly their school life. So for many years we said all the smart kids are in music. But we know something different. We know that music actually makes them the smart kids. So the educational benefits from a child being in band or choir or orchestra far outweigh just the musical ones. Now I'm a musician. So I want them in there because of the intrinsic joy that comes from it. That's the emotional part. That we can say with music what we can't say with words. That it itself is a special pleasure in doing it. You know, young people, well, I guess old people too, are going to express themselves in many ways. If I were lucky enough to be a parent, I want my son or daughter to be around the best kids in the school. Guess where they are? They're hanging out in the band room. The life skills that they learn through band, they can adapt to anything and everything they do. Teamwork, cooperation, the ability to get along with other people, going the extra mile, dedication, commitment, all of those wonderful terms that we know are the foundation for success. So let's talk about the economical part. Well, first of all, if you're a decent player and you go to college, you're probably going to get a scholarship and you don't have to be a music major to do it. So there's one there. When we look at very successful business people and we see their background, over 80% of them have been involved in music at one time of life. Now, I want them to make music forever. But even if they don't, the sense of appreciation is there and the support of the arts is there and that's what will lift them to a higher level in everything they do. So if you're sitting there going, why band? Maybe the question that begs the answer is, why not band? So I'll tell you what, this is an incredibly important decision. And it only happens once. We know that if people don't learn music in schools, very few of them will take it on later in life. So the decision you're making now has an impact on your child forever. Please think it through carefully. Please know it's going to make a huge difference. Thank you for letting me have the time with you. And let's strike up the band. Let's talk about the benefits to you as a band parent. Um, you know, I love sports. I love everything about sports. Uh, but in sports, if we're a parent, we sit and watch the child. If we're a band parent, we participate. It's a family affair. I gotta tell you a great story. One of the things I do in the fall is I get hooked up in this crazy marching band competition. And they do them all over the nation. And my job at these little events is I go over and I meet the band when they show up, and then I help them get on the field and get started and get all the props set and all that sort of thing. So several years ago, I'm in Houston, Texas. It's like 120 degrees, which makes no sense having the smartest kids in the school standing on AstroTurf, 120 degrees. But anyway, so I'm helping them get everything all set, and there's this one band dad that is running around with the timpani trying to know where it goes, you know? And he's, I don't know where to go, I don't know where to go. And finally, I got him calmed down, and I said, what's going on? Oh, I don't want to put the drum in the wrong place if I get a penalty on, and all this sort of thing. So I said, it's, you're fine right there. You 
you're going to be fine. Now tell me, is it your son or your daughter? Oh, it's my son, and he's percussionist, and I'm so nervous. And I said, well, you just stand right back here, and you enjoy this, right? So I go over to the other side to get the band, and the band director is laughing. He says, do you have any idea who you were talking to? I said, yeah. I said, it's one of your band dads. He said, he's an astronaut. Well, I never met an astronaut, so I got to get his autograph, right? So anyway, we finish, and I go back over to see this gentleman get his autograph, right? And he comes running, and we give each other a hug, and, it's a, and I said, you are an astronaut. And he goes, yeah, so what? Well, I said, what are you doing out here? <laughs> oh, you're, shouldn't you be, like, sequestered someplace for the big flight? And he just looked at me, and he started crying. He said, I'm doing the most important thing in my life. I'm supporting my son. And it was one of those <gasps> aha moments when you go, yes, the most important thing in our lives is to support our children and make sure that their lives are happy and prosperous. Not gonna happen any better place than the culture of that band room. Hope you'll join us. Symphonic Band consists of students who have just started this year on their instruments to those who have been playing since middle school. The Symphonic Band, over the course of this year, have worked together to become one cohesive ensemble, and we've done a great job so far. Three short years ago, the Symphonic Band did not exist, and now, after all this time, we finally came home with a trophy for superior ratings in the TPSMEA Concert and Sight Reading Performance. Tonight, we will be performing three pieces for you. Our first piece, is Dmitry Shostakovich's The Fire of Eternal Glory, arranged by Timothy Rea. The second piece is Ron Nelson's Courtly Airs and Dances. And our final piece is Cristo de la Expression by Alvarez Baipadet. Now, enjoy the show. Please welcome the Straight Jesuit St. Agnes Symphonic Band and their director, Mr. Jesus Pacheco.
these today, uh, as I always uh, like, to, like to bring a little bit uh, from my country. It's a march, it's a slow march called Cristo de la Expiración. It's a Holy Week march, Holy Week is over, but we've worked on it over Holy Week, over, uh, you know, um, all the time and this semester. And it's, it's been a challenging uh, semester, lots of things going on. We always say that the spring semester is relaxed, but <laughs> it never really is. Um, so busy though that I was surprised with the fact that I've been at Straight Jesuit for five years and I didn't want it to go uh, by tonight without uh, thanking uh, all uh, our amazing students, uh, all parents, uh, our administrators, and definitely my colleagues in the music department, Mr. Hernandez and Mr. Ware. Um, I couldn't be on a better place and I like to see that you know every year we get to new levels, we, we achieve new things and it's, it's really exciting and uh, it wouldn't happen without your support and so this march is dedicated to all of you that I've mentioned and uh, you know to all our students uh, all their accomplishments. It's been, it's been a great semester. Thank you again for being here tonight. Cristo de la Aspiración. Thank you.
exhibition, please feel free to head out and enjoy some cookies and Please come back. Let me remind you, no food is allowed inside the auditorium, so please uh, make sure you eat all your cookies outside. Thank you very much. See you in a little bit.
everyone. Our final group to perform tonight is the Straight Jesuit St. Agnes Wind Ensemble. Our Wind Ensemble has had a very successful semester. We earned a sweepstakes award at the last Concert and Sight Reading Contest. This is an award only given to ensembles that receive a superior rating from all judges. Many of our members also participated in the regional solo and ensemble contest and are now preparing to compete in the same contest at a state level. For tonight's performance, our wind ensemble will begin with a fanfare composed by Robert W. Smith entitled Semper Liberi. This translates to We Will Always Be Free. Afterwards, we'll play a piece called Symphonic Dance No. 3, Fiesta by Clifton Williams. This composer wrote this great work for the San Antonio Symphony, inspired by San Antonio's annual fiesta celebration, which is going on right now. We hope the sights, sounds, and culture of San Antonio are brought to mind by this piece. Our third piece is called On a Hymn Song of Philip Bliss. It is a band arrangement by David Holsinger of the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. This hymn is about a man who had just lost his family at sea but found peace through his faith in God. Next, we will perform a piece called In a Gentle Rain by Robert W. Smith. This piece will feature one of our seniors, Chris Casillas, on saxophone. Next year, Chris will be headed to Loyola University in New Orleans where he will major in music. Afterwards, we will honor all of our graduating seniors by playing both the alma maters of Straight Jesuit and St. Agnes. To conclude our performance, we will play a thrilling American march by Henry Fillmore entitled, entitled His Honor. Thank you so much for coming out tonight, and we sincerely hope that you enjoy our performance tonight. Now, would you please welcome the straight Jesuit St. Agnes Wind Ensemble to the stage, and our director, Mr. Ben Ware.
Welcome to the wind ensemble portion of our concert. Uh, this ensemble meets about, on average, three hours a week. And uh, we are so proud of them. Can we hear it one more time for the wind ensemble? Our next piece is titled In a Gentle Rain and is going to feature one of our graduating seniors uh, who is headed off to major in music at Loyola University in New Orleans. On soprano saxophone, please welcome Christopher Casillas.
Let's hear it one more time for Christopher Casillas. You're going to see a setup change taking place over the next two minutes um, as both bands join us on stage before we honor our seniors who are graduating by the playing of both school alma maters. Before we play both schools alma maters, we would like to recognize our students for their accomplishments. If you have served as our concertmaster, would you please stand so we can recognize you? If you have served as a section leader for your band, would you please stand? In order to become a band leader, you must go through training, uh, and it's a, almost a weekly meeting, and they have done so many things, including form, forming committees. But before we recognize our band committees, uh, would you please stand if you have served this year as a band leader? Part of being a band leader is the option to serve on a band committee. These committees do many different things. Uh, you saw for the first time ever, uh, we have a video committee. We have a uh, retreat committee. We have a PR committee. And they have done a tremendous job this year. So if you've served on any of those band committees, please stand. I'm going to skip number four in the program because we'll come back to our seniors and really recognize them in a minute. Uh, number five, uh, if you served as a drum major in the fall, please stand so we can recognize you. We have the option to compete in public school competitions, TMEA, and also private school competitions, TPSMEA. We have people here who have uh, auditioned and uh, performed with the TMEA Region Orchestra. Please stand if that's you. A little bit later, uh, they can audition for the TMEA Region Band. So if you were participating in TMEA Region Band, please stand. The competition is fierce, and we are part of KDISD, Houston ISD, and many others in the public school. And uh, several of our students did advance to area. So if you advance to TMEA area, please stand. All State Band is one of the highest honors a student musician can receive while in high school. Please stand if you made the TPSMA All State Band. During the spring semester, we focus in on solo and ensemble contests, meaning they can play alone, they can play with smaller groups. If you have competed at the TPSMEA Region Solo and Ensemble Contest, please stand. Several of them also advanced to state, which will take place after graduation, after finals, school is done. And they're still gonna go, so this is amazing. Please stand if you are advancing to TPSMEA State Solo and Ensemble Contest. Before we honor our seniors, uh, I'd like to personally uh, speak on behalf of all the music directors uh, that this senior group is truly outstanding. 
And I think I really do speak for all three of us when I say we deeply care about you, we love you, and we are proud of you, and we know you're going to go on to do amazing things in life. Thank you for letting us share part of your, our life with you. Let's hear it for our seniors. To conduct the St. Agnes and Strake Jesuit alma maters and to recognize our seniors, please welcome our drum majors, Andre Chavez and Elizabeth Seamus. Before we play our last tune, His Honor the March, I'd like to recognize our string bass player uh, who was omitted from the program. We are so lucky to have a string player with us in our wind ensemble. Would you please give a round of applause for Ethan Dupre. We also want to invite you out to Chewy's Mexican Restaurant, 9350 Westheimer Road, between Gessler and Fondren. They are expecting us, so all family, friends, students, you're all welcome. I'd also like to personally thank our administration, faculty, staff, and our directors who have worked so hard, Mr. Hernandez Ching, uh, Mr. Pacheco, thank you so much for all you've done, setting everything up. Let's hear it for our directors. And finally, thank you so much for being here. This means the world to us. It means a lot to them. And all those streaming, my family in Chile, my family in Texas, your family, thank you all. Let's, let, let them hear it all the way out there for one more time for the Straight Jesuit St. Agnes Wind Ensemble. <laughs> 